So hello and welcome to you wherever you are. We are here at this most recognisable of venues in world football. It is the Camp Nou, the proud and impressive home of FC Barcelona. And our live game is Israel against Spain. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Begley. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Two starting lineups. So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, I'm going to go for a man who probably defines the anchor midfield role, Sergio Busquets. Uh, responsible for maintaining the balance when either fullback moves forward, he can drop in at centre back occasionally, um, and he gets him on the front foot with his crisp passing. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Isco. PK. And it's Koke. Sergio Ramos. Daniel Carvajal. PK. Daniel Carvajal. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Steered out wide, looking to go deep. Forward it goes. Daniel Carvajal. Pique. Vitolo. Played into the middle. Gets up to head it! Just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. So what now? Tries a through ball. Going through. And a header! And Israel score first. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Sergio Ramos. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Looks like a good ball through. Jordi Alba. Diego Costa. Diego Costa shoots! And another time! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. 
So Harvey over to the left. Now here's the through ball. De Gea has that under control. Isco plays it forward. Now it's Vitolo. And it's Diego Costa. And the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Israel come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And the game has already resumed here. Israel carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Daniel Carvajal, Vitolo, he's got away. Carries far too far and out of play. It's Costa! Now the breakaway. Now the pass. Surely. Zaha. It's one! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. to the goalkeeper. Koke plays it out to the wing. And it's Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba. Good run. Where to from here? Sergio Busquets. Up to meet it! This could fall anywhere! That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. He's left his man. Played in deep. For a goal kick. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Spain are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Isco passes it through. Now it's Vitolo. Vitolo with a massive leap! It's there! Spain are all square! What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was.
changes on both sides, actually. Israel making two changes as we speak. Spain at the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Natko tries to get it forward quickly. Isco. Oh, great ball! Going for goal! Pedro. Aimed long and direct. That's it! They are out! And that means there is no place for them in the knockout stage. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, the truth is they haven't been good enough to progress. The table doesn't tell lies.